I think you said something along the lines of that you had to think about uh, your flaws and your bullshit to play James St. Patrick. So <laughs> what flaws and bullshit were you tapping into of your own to bring this character to life? I think for me, a lot of what I was calling out as flaws in myself have not necessarily hindered me because I have a regulation button that has afforded me going, okay, that's a little too far. I think to play Ghost Jamel, I had to not pay attention to the button. But I know that Omari has the pre-production ability to go straight buck and all the narcissism that goes found. I don't think he started at narcissism, but what he ended up at. Whether it was Courtney's pen or whether she needed a reason to get rid of me, you decide. But either way, the pre-production of that which this guy became in production in front of 11 million people watching. I think Omari carries a lot of that in pre-production and it could go really bad if I didn't have certain people and certain things and certain foundational things that have allowed me to not just be of discipline, but, but also to be of kindness and humility. And so I played him from the place of how does it smell though? If some of this is pretty cool in you went real, real bad. I played it from that place. One of the greatest lines I think you ever said in, uh, on that show is when he told Tasha, Tasha, can't you see I'm grieving? I lost the love of my life and not talking about her. I was like, that's some cold ass shit. That's crazy. But Mel, you got to always remember, and I do appreciate the fans that do remember I asked her, Tasha, you never see me as more? You never see yeah. me as more? I remember that. Yeah, yep. I, I asked her that. You did. So, this is the issue. <laughs> The issue is that that brother stayed with Tasha. Mm -hmm. He stayed with her in the sense that, Mel, if you call me and said, oh, I'm having marital issues, many of those issues we can figure out. But there's one issue that's very hard to get past. If somebody that you marry doesn't want you to fly to your highest, how could you ever go to sleep with them again? That means that even in the bed, the sex ain't what it should be because they're not fully passionate about everything that's passionate in you. They're not fully passionate about everything passionate in you. I saw Tasha is bigger. I saw Tommy is bigger. I as ghost. I saw Tommy is bigger and Tasha is bigger. So the irony is as much as narcissism could be staple and moniker or label or title to this guy. Ironically, in many ways, he might have been the most giving, the most loving, and the most humble. He was definitely the most supportive and the one who believed the most that these two could be way bigger than that of just being a drug dealer in the greater parts of New York City. So, you know, he's still a guy who's broken. I come from a big, rich town, right? I just came from the poorest part. And I think 50 nailed that song. Like, when you come from the poorest part, that's back to that cafeteria analogy. You're coming from a table that's really small. And the table's broken with cracks in it. And ain't many roses growing out of them cracks. So all you know is you got a couple shots at taking a crack at being big. And if you got people around you, wife most imperatively, and she's going, nah, what's big? We already big. You got it, baby. It's hard. But I do agree. Narcissism then makes its way in statements like, yo, I'm grieving, my love. Please move out of the way, wife. <laughs> Right, you know, it ain't you. <laughs> but Jamil, wife had already moved out of the way when she said, later for later for you trying to be bigger, what's bigger? We got everything we need. To me, she had already made a decision to move out of the way. Courtney just didn't write a divorce in. That's what the fans have to remember. Like, what if the writing was that a divorce actually happened? Is Ghost that bad then? Or even deeper, Jamil, what if the mistress is the same race as the wife? Jamil. Mm. Jamil. Mm. <laughs> uh, well, let me, let me ask. We'll go past that. What if the, embrace that. All right. What if the miss? No, what I think I, I think that's what. <laughs> but see, I, I always, it's true. I was Team Tasha, definitely. But um, mostly but because Tasha I Wild, felt like. Because you're about flying. You want brothers to have the greatest of flight. So why were you Team Tasha? I was for this simple fact is because as much as Ghost wanted to be bigger, 
I thought Tasha really knew intrinsically like who he really was when it got down to it because uh, Murder Fit Ghost came out quite a bit. <laughs> right? Even in the even in Murder, Murder Fit Ghost yeah. came out even in business, even in business. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and so I felt like she really knew that. You 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 as you you astutely answered the question. I can't argue at all with that. You you have a director who came in one time and said, "I don't think the kids know Ghost," and I said, "Yes, they do." And you can't be a director telling me that which I curated with the aid of Courtney, with the aid of 50 and with the aid of Joe. The four of us kind of curated Ghost. You can't tell me that the kids don't know Ghost. Just like the darks of Omari, Brave and Nova know. They know some real bad shit that I've done. They know some shit mail that you don't know. Because I gave birth to those kids. So I'm not real big on like fabricating my life. They they can't know everything, but they know some dark shit. Like, oh shit, Papa's not. Mm, all right. And so I I begged to differ with the director. And it was a director I, I highly respect and trusted. And he sat and listened. And he was like, oh, that makes sense. I said they might not necessarily understand and title what the streets of New York think of when they hear ghost. But absolutely they know, I guess, the fabric and the thread of that guy. They know. They know he's an ominous figurine. They know he's ferocious. They know that their pops has a way about him. They know that he's doting and loving, which Omari's doting and loving, but I'm also super crazy, which you can't play the character if you're not. So this guy is somebody that I agree you answered correctly in that which I asked you, which is why were you team Tasha? Your point is if the kids know that side of that guy, oh, Tasha not only knows it, she was perfectly befitting of that side. Whereas the mistress was not. Completely agree. Completely. So so basically, Ghost was lonely. Because one woman figured out. <laughs> right. One girl knew one side of me. And then the other, yeah. one, we say woman, not girl. One woman knew and embraced one side of me. The other woman embraced another side. But can can I find something that embraces both and rocks out with? That's hard. That's that's hard to find. Sometimes in life, but also in fiction. Called a, called a show. So I think he was a lonely dude. And we never got to see why he was so lonely. Because, you know, basically, Ghost met his uh, his fate at the hand of his son. <laughs> he met his fate. Yeah, which was um, which was a, a, a plot twist that was, I, I thought, really, um, you know, it's hard to do a final series or a final season of a series. Like, it's hard to end them. Nobody's ever satisfied at the end of it. But yeah. I, I thought that was as good as any series that ended. Um, what do you miss playing this character at all? No. Why not? Because the colors are all in me. You got to remember the colors are there to Jay's point. You can't miss what's already in you. Uh, the one thing about Ghost, which is what I think made him so complex and so, uh, really such an amazing character is that he was an anti-hero that you knew was a little psychopathic and yet you rooted for him in every situation. Yeah. It's like, I just, you, you hit that note so perfectly. Um, yeah. And giving us, always giving us a reason to root for ghosts, always giving us a reason. A um, lot from you. Uh, better, better scene when you mush Tasha in the forehead or when you pulled that gun on Tariq. <laughs> um. And I had Naturi on, and she gave me the backstory about how the mushing in the forehead happened. <laughs> I got to say the mushing of uh, Tasha. Because let me take a moment. People have asked me, what is it about Naturi? And I rooted for her. Tasha was supposed to be an older actress. I don't know if you knew that. And I kept saying- she, Yeah, she told me, which was crazy to me. Like, she was supposed to play much, much yeah. older. Yeah. And, uh, and we, you know, there were many actresses. Um, one of whom I dated at one point, um, she was up for it. And they were, you know, and, and, and the many, many of the sisters felt afraid of what grandmas would feel. You feel me? To play the Macbeth character, the, the Lady Macbeth, sorry, the Lady Macbeth character. Tasha's gift is that, is that Naturi played her. Tasha as a character's gift is that Naturi played her. Because Naturi's gift, Jamel, is her bravery. She's such a courageous actress. And I love that about her. I forever will. She's courageous in her defense and love of me. And she's courageous in her defense and love of Tasha. And so we, 
as two people who trust each other so much, we came up with the mushing of the face. So a lot of people might feel away. She gave you the backstory. But because we trust each other so much, there are not many actors who could get away with grabbing her face like that. Naturia, I'll tell you in a minute, I'm from East Orange. Oh, and I'm like, I know you're from East Orange. You don't need to remind me you're from Jersey. I know. But because of the relationship that we have, it allowed for me to feel safe enough to do that to a woman, which is not easy for me to do. It's as hard as sex scenes. Sex scenes are extremely difficult. So if I was courageous and brave enough to be involved in sex scenes or any actor, and particularly the specific actors on those on on those types of dramatic shows, um, then equally we had to be courageous to go to a place where she said, "It's cool though. You can grab it, and you can literally like I'm like I'm gonna put it in the and and I'm I'm gonna back you up into the fridge, and you're cool with the force of backing into the fridge with my hand on your face. Yo, yeah, oh, I'm good with it." So I think that's a better scene because it's two scene partners getting together and we kind of created that. That wasn't on script. The mushing of the face was not on script. That is taking advantage of a beautiful, not only synergy and chemistry, but a beautiful relationship that was set in a foundational way prior to her coming to the show and playing Tasha. Whereas the gun to Tariq's head, that was written. 